it's Danisha and welcome back to another painting video. As you can see by the title today, I'll be painting a scene from Kiki's Delivery Service and show you how to paint Studio Ghibli style foliage. So feel free to get a snack to watch me paint or come paint along with me. I first started by sketching out the scene and usually what helps is to do a light rough sketch to figure out the dimension and then when I'm happy with the placements I add more details after. Oh also sorry about the light it was super gloomy that day so I'm just gonna sketch out for today and then paint the next day when the light gets better. And for today's video, I decided to use my other Himi gouache set after I cleaned it on Friday. I always end up using the smaller set for my painting videos because I can easily mix the colors, but I thought you might want to see me try this one as well. So I'm starting with the window and all the details in the middle first just so that I can focus on painting and explaining how to paint the foliage later which is my favorite part as you know I don't really like painting man-made stuff but painting nature feels more freeing to me and helps me distress after my full-time job so enjoy the painting process until I get to the front part. Before painting the window, I wanted to add the leaf behind the glass, so I started with a dark background close to a blackish green for it and then added a lighter green on top for the highlights. I didn't put too much detail there as I will also use some white in the end to create the window glare effect so it will end up being kind of hidden in the background and yeah, and then I'll move on to the window part.
was able to start prepping for the fun part. I had to first paint some of the background wall that would show through the leaves. I didn't paint the whole thing since I knew already which part will be fully covered with the foliage. And while that dry, I took some time to paint the sky, which was super enjoyable. If you want to know some tricks on how to paint clouds, I have a mini tutorial on my channel if you're curious, but go watch it only after finish this one, okay? <laughs> So I'm starting with a darker green background and I'm placing the colors on specific places and not completely covering the whole area. The key here is to dab the colors as you can see on the screen and right now since we are working on the background I can make bigger blobs and later as the color get lighter the blobs will just get more specific. Also, I'm not using the same green color everywhere for the background. I am using some green mixed with blue, but also other greens that's mixed with brown and black to create different tones. I know it can get overwhelming sometimes while staring at the whole painting and guessing how it will turn out in the end, but all I have to say is to take your time. Make sure you take some breaks, stand up, and stare at the painting from far as well. I kept the video at a normal speed so you can see how fast or slow I am at while I'm painting. And at some point I'm actually standing while painting and that way I could tell easier where to place the colors. I was looking at the reference picture but I was also not pressuring myself to make it look exactly the same. As long as I was getting the basic shapes and colors I was happy. And as I always say art is all about making me happy and enjoying the process. <laughs> After that, the second step was to add a mid-layer tone to start creating depth among the leaves. To get those colors, I started mixing different amount of yellow and white with the green that I had and slowly started dabbing the colors while making sure to not fully cover the dark backgrounds I had made as I wanted to show the shades in the leaf but also make sure that the leaves on top looked like they were being lit by the sun, which was the case basically. <laughs> And again, I wanted various tints and shades of green, so I started adding more yellow in my green to get a lighter green color to add on other parts of the wall. I'm working super slow here, making sure that I'm not only focusing too much on the end result yet, you just have to trust the process.
Finally, I'm adding some top layer colors, meaning I mixed even more white and yellow in my green colors and adding it only to parts that I see the sun hitting the surface the most. For this part, you just have to make sure to not cover everything with highlight as it might end up looking muddy. So add some highlights and take a step back to see how it looks from far and then work from there. And then I'm adding some final details such as the shadows created by the windows, some branches and the shadows from the foliage itself. Also on the side I use some white to make some branches pop out from the leaf as well. In the end, I'm just using the same method of applying colors to paint the roses on top and then I'll add some line art to finish it up. I hope that you enjoy watching me paint or painting along with me. Let me know what you thought about it down below and I'll see you in the next one. Allez, bye!